Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum 128K and it's Spectrum homebrew time. Yes, this one's called Donkey Kong Reloaded, published by Gabriel Amor in 2014. Um, and it's been created by AGD, which is a utility by Jonathan Cordwell. Uh, we have covered other, another game uh, from Gabriel Amor before, which is Moon Ranger, so I select my uh, keys here. Oh, it says 2013 there on the thing. Well, I've got 2014 in my notes, but I'm sure the author knew better than me, so it must be 2013. So here we are. Here's Mario. Uh, now the original Donkey Kong come out in come out in 1981. I think we need to collect these um, uh, dollar bags and um, then get onto the next screen. Now the original Donkey Kong played like you went up the screen to rescue the princess and get to the next stage. Here it's a bit more um, exploration and stuff. So let's see how far I can. Whoops. Let's see how far I can get. Probably not very far, but already it plays quite good. I like the animation. There's uh, Mario down the bottom. Um, I don't know, that's Donkey Kong up the top there, or one of his uh, minions. Avoid the barrels in classic Donkey Kong action. Looks pretty good. Do check out Moon Ranger. We've also reviewed by, oh dear, by the same um, author. Now in the top left, you can see my live left, which is free. Come on, Nick. Let's at least get off level one. Yeah, Donkey Kong um, was such a, a classic game. I, this isn't licensed uh, to Nintendo, I, I don't believe, but nice to see. There is a sequel to this as well by the same author called Donkey Kong Reloaded Again, so we might come to that at some point. Uh, the, the author has made quite a few games, it would be nice to come to a few of them. I think the most recent one is Frantic Pengo, if you want to go and have a look at that. Yay, so it's, uh, well it's game over, it's uh, Homebrew Wednesday. Um, the idea of these games is not expert gameplay, as you can quite clearly see. It's about seeing, uh, would there have been enough for you to go back and play it in the day? If it come back in the day, and um, well, it would have been awesome, wouldn't it, back in the day, this this kind of game. It does take a bit of skill though, which I'm hopefully I'm trying to uh, get here. Um, I'm sure there's a pattern with the barrels coming down that you can learn. Let's Nick at least see, well, a couple of screens. Here we go! Right, okay, so screen two. Looks like there's an extra life down the bottom there. Graphics are good, moves quite well, sound is there. It's not as easy as some games, so it's going to take a little while to perfect it. Uh, literally, this is my first or second go. Looks like sometimes you can be a bit unlucky if, there, if there's a lot of um, people after you at the same time randomly generated. Who are these guys? Look like crazy nosy bonks. Oh, uh, boof, let's go over there. So, AGD is an arcade game designer. And there's so many games created using that thing. Right now, yay! We've got a bit of water here, a bit of money down the back. Oh, it looks like at the top there is his power-up weapon to actually uh, fire at people, which would be useful. We've missed it. We've fallen into the drink. Bob, 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 bob. It's like like Jaws that bit. Bob, 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 bob. Du, du, du. Avoid the jellyfish. Oh, mm. right. Hang on a minute. Oh, I got hit by that thing and I died. It's taking me back to the start of this thing. Um, a cheat for infinite lives would be good. I think I've got one. We'll see. We'll see if it works or not. They don't always do with what I'm uh, using, but I, I am liking this. It's annoying me ever so slightly, but uh, that's because I'm not very good at it. But I, I am liking it. The animation on Mario's legs are good. It does look like Mario. It's an original game, despite using uh, the Mario idea. Um, yeah, good. A, a, a good one by, by the author. I would say track this one down. Whoa, there we go. I got this from Spectrum Computing. Oh, Nicker, you wally, you had it then. Um, I'm sure it's just... Well, that's great, but that, that makes it a lot easier, that thing. Oh, now, the, I've, I've wasted that. The firepower's run out. So I've done that all wrong, and it doesn't regenerate, it doesn't seem. Ugh. Good stuff. Now, if you want to see a few more homebrews, check out the ZX Spectrum playlist. There, there, there. They, or, or just do search N Jenkin Homebrew. It will show you everything on the whole channel, I think. But you do have to time it. If there's two guys near each other, you jump over one. As you can quite see there, I landed on the second one. So good graphics, uh, good sound, quite addictive, uh, but tricky. So you won't be brilliant at it straight away. Well, unless, unless you are, you might be. You might be one of these clever people. Now I've put in a cheat in, as you see, it seems to have mucked up Mario's legs. So that's not the author's fault, that's saying I don't know they've corrected themselves. Uh, it might have extra lives, we'll see. It says a five up the top there. Seems to have destroyed a few of the graphics, so apologies are there. But um, let's see if I get um, infinite lives or not. Oh, it's taken a few of the sounds away as well, okay. Right. Whoops, there we go. Come on, Mario. Whoa. Hopefully the sounds come up on the recording. I my my headphones gone a bit bit silly. Right, 
Go Mario, go, jump, jump. No, no, the lives are going down anyway, so that cheat hasn't worked. Oh, it's just knocked out a few of the graphics. There we go. Anyway, uh, plays quite good. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind an Indiana Jones game a bit like this. I'm crying out for uh, well, Indiana Jones games. Right now, we reviewed one uh, quite recently, of course, Indiana Jones and uh, the uh, Fountain of Everlasting uh, Life. Desperately short that game. Um, yeah. Potentially awesome, but desperately too way way too short to be an actual release. Oh, I've I've died again. Yeah, lives three. Oh dear, it's going down, down, deeper and down. 2014, so six years ago. Well, seven years ago now. I keep forgetting it's 2021 at time recording. Keep thinking it's 2020 still. Well, thank God to get rid of that year. We're in recovery. You might be watching this years and years later. Hopefully, COVID is a distant memory, or you've never heard of it, which is, which is great. If you like the channel and you haven't done so so far, please consider uh, subscribing. I try and put up as much content as I possibly can without um, well, killing myself. Uh, but I, I think I'm doing an okay job. And thank you hugely to the members that are making a lot of things uh, possible. If you want to find out a bit what that is ab about, want to be a supporter on the channel, and um, get access to the members section and see what videos are going up in the following week. It's uh, yeah, It starts off quite cheap. So click the join button. Won't commit you straight away if you want to find out a little bit what that's about. So thank you. All help is, well, greatly uh, appreciated. The more time I've got to donate to this channel, the better, in theory, it should become. Hooray! Oh, look, and Mario spit the big one again. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. Well, I think I think we need another go there. So I seem to be getting, as a newbie, I seem to be progressing to about the first uh, three screens, don't I? If I was playing it all day, I think I would get to at least five or six. Not quite sure how many screens it has got, but they're all they're all quite nice to see. Right, yeah, I've, I've messed up. I've messed up his legs. Bu, 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 bu. Let's go, as Mario would say. Go Mario, go! Right, off we go. So collect these bundles. I'm not, you could probably get away with not collecting these bundles of money, but I presume you got to um, rescue the princess at some stage. Quite interested to see Donkey Kong reloaded again at some point. Maybe the gameplay being made a little bit easier. Who knows? Or it might be a bit more the uh, the same, like the like Gloop Troops when it went to Gloop Troops, the Lost um, Crown. Check that out as well. That's why Little Shop of Pixels, which is another another good homebrew. Boom. They keep making these Spectrum games. I think the ZX Spectrum is going to live forever now. Yeah, had come out. What did it come out? Nineteen eighty two ish. And now it's well 2021. It's just it's 8-bit gaming, simpler times. And I do like these homebrews because they, although they're modern games made with modern day compilers and utilities, it does hark back to the original uh, ZX Spectrum uh, era. It's gonna it's going to go on forever, isn't it? I like the old stuff. I like the homebrew stuff. If these homebrews had come back back in the day, it would have blown everyone's socks off. That is for sure. If a, if a developer had AGD back in the day, they would have been very rich indeed, because they would have pumped out lots of games very, very quickly. Very quickly indeed. Right, here we go. Right, it's definitely, I said it my last go last time, my last go this time. But as I said before, don't worry about his legs not going properly at the start there. That's my fault, because I typed in a poke that didn't work. Uh, normally you wouldn't have that. And next to the number five, you'd have a Mario head there as well. But apart from that, it's, uh, I haven't affected it too much. Yeah, so, you know, looking at it from first or second go, would I want to play this again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend downloading it? Yes, I would. So, you know, uh, if you're Mario fans, uh, it's not quite Donkey Kong because um, it's not single screen going up. I haven't seen the princess yet, but I assume she turns up. Um, I think from a screenshot I saw those end level bosses as well, which would probably be big Donkey Kong when you get to a certain point. So it is well worth exploring, getting better on it, donating a bit of time to it to get to that final uh, bit at the end. Hooray! Great stuff! Donkey Kong! Had a, there's so many, so many Donkey Kong clones about as well, inspired, inspired quite a lot of stuff. Um, Mario originally called Jumpman, of course, before he got his name Super Mario, and he turned into a plumber. Bit unusual not to see him in red here, but uh, it, is, it is the spectrum after all. It does um, try and prevent a colour clash by having, well, simpler colours. Right, hang on a minute. I'm getting gradually worse now. Come on! Um, right. Okay. Oh, that see, see that that was that was just unfortunate. That was that was just unfortunate of me. Hmm. I'm tempted to have one last go. I keep saying that. One last go. One last go. So it has got that. It's got that thing to it. Well, although it's initially frustrating, you just want to keep keep playing it again and again. 
Right, come on, this is when his legs fix themselves. Good. Right. Yes, yeah, great animation there on Mario. A lot of attention uh, to detail on this one. Highly recommended again. As I say, not as easy as some homebrews. But uh, I'm, I'm the average player, I'd say. I'm not a genius player. You might be better than me straight away, or you might be roughly the same. There's a, ch there's a chance you'll be worse, but uh, maybe not Maybe not much. But all about the fun, all about easing the stress. Uh, it's almost as if we're playing this game down the pub, talking a bit of retro, and we're, we're having a bit of a therapy session as well. So if you're having a bit of a stressful day, then hopefully this is easing it, taking your mind somewhere else. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's all the small stuff, as I always say. In a hundred years' time, no one's going to remember anyway, so let's just have a bit of a laugh. Hooray! Right. Uh, perspective is a wonderful thing. But uh, talking to people helps as well. The healing power of retro gaming and gaming in general. Um, right, if you've got a chance to join any of the live streams, I've uh, got a great community there developing, please feel free to drop by. I tend to schedule it in. So if you if you subscribed already, if you click the uh, the bell button, I think it will send you an alert when, uh, well, normally it does, when, when something goes live. Or if you want to follow me on Twitter, Jenkins7Nick, I, I, I uh, put in a link there as well on, on the day it's scheduled in, or sometimes the day before. Just letting you know. Right. Whoa. Come on, Mario, go. Well, at least I got to this screen again. Got one life left. Oops, I got no lives left. Oh, it's game over, game over, man. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. I liked it. Oh, I liked it, I did. Well, I tend to like a lot of games. I try and see the good in most of them. Some, some, a lot of games have got good things to offer. Um, even sometimes they're so bad, they're good. But this isn't one of those. This is a good one. So I hope you liked to have a look at it. It was Donkey Kong Reloaded on the ZX Spectrum 128K, published by Gabriel Moore in 2014. Go and have a look at uh, his other work there. Until next time. Well, actually, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, please put that below. And as I was saying before, till next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.